Did you say what the new doll was? You're right, I got sidetracked. I was losing my mind. This is another, um... This is another, um... Entry in the index of, like... Twitch has made me lose my mind. Apollo was doing a new, uh... Dull called Bandal, where they take like a, a song and strip the tracks out and then do them in MIDI so that you start and you hear like the drum and bass track and it goes, you hear like, dun, 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 and you're like, I don't know that song. And then they bring in like the guitar track and you hear like, um. And today's, and then it, it, they get down to the voice, and it's basically KK Slider. You hear. And it was hung up by Madonna. First off. I was losing my fucking mind. I'm not even a huge Madonna fan. His whole chat of people born in the year 2006 were like, Madonna fucking sucks. Yeah, bitch, now! But for like 20 years, she was pumping out bangers across like three different eras. She's got that early era in the 80s, you know, like a virgin, like a prayer, holiday, um, crazy for you. La Isla Bonita, et cetera, et cetera. And then in the 90s, people were like, Madonna's washed. And then she was like, check it out, motherfucker, it's Ray of Light. We just put out Ray of Light, a song that for some reason is like entirely forgotten in the modern era, even though it goes hard as fuck. And then people were like, Madonna's, yeah, Ray of Light was crazy, but Madonna's washed as fuck. Then in 2005, she says, check it out. I'm sampling ABBA and Hung Up might be her best song, which I know is a bit of a hot take, but anyway. So this is take number one, people were like, Madonna has no good songs. Take number two, Apollo said, I've never heard a Madonna song. And the fucked up part is I believe him, which doesn't make any sense, but I don't think he'd have any reason to lie about that. Third, people were like, it doesn't count. It's only good because it's an ABBA sample. And I didn't realize that it's a crime to have a good sample. Apparently you have to have a shit sample and make the song good. Otherwise it doesn't count as good music. Like, people are more anti-Madonna than they are anti-U2, which is driving me crazy. Put some respect on, on at least Madonna's good songs, man. You don't have to be like Madonna's an American hero, but you should respect, you know, realness when you see it. Bandle today? Oh, good to hang on. Bandle.app. 3.6 billion YouTube views from 2013. I'm not looking at chat, I swear it to you. I think I'm gonna know it. I don't know it yet though. That's just drums and bass. Okay. Did you ever feel like a plastic wrap? Okay, hang on. Next, give me choir and synth, please. Uh oh, that's. I'm gonna know it. I don't know it yet, but I'm gonna know it. Did you ever feel like a plastic plate? Is this titanium? Is this titanium by. Did you meet down? But I, I'm, I'm typing it. Titanium? I'm typing titanium. David Guetta featuring Sia. It's not titanium, not the correct song. Okay, next next part. Oh! That was a dark horse. I didn't know this part. I needed that. That's Dark Horse by Katy Perry. Of course. Cause you gotta get a plastic fork But you gotta give me pizza And then I'm gonna eat it with my plastic fork I am ready for a pepperoni Yeah, okay, I know, I know this. Dude, Bandle is sick, man. Bandle's crazy. I, can we just, listen, I didn't get it as soon as I could have gotten it. But it's crazy that I thought it was 
a Katy Perry song. It was just a different Katy Perry song. That's how you know she's a true artiste. Because you can see her DNA coming, even when you don't know it's her. It's a oh, bandle today. Oh, good idea. Okay, hang on. 1.4 billion views from 1994. Oh. I don't know it yet. Oh, wait, is this? No, I don't know it. Give me, let me get the bass. Oh, yeah. That's Zombie by the Cranberries. And the bombs, and the bombs, and the... Okay, you gotta hear the voice cover, though. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. The song of my people? Bro, are you a zombie? You gotta tell me if you're a zombie. MF would be like, no, P.S., you got any brains? Bandle today? Ah! Bandle.app. Okay, hang on. Released in 1978, 22 million views. Keyboard ass beat. Okay, I don't know it. Give me bass. Ooh. I love it. I like it. Okay, how about the electric guitar? Ooh. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna know this. Little old lady got mutilated late last night. That's Werewolves of London by Warren Zevin. Yes, it is. We got it in three. We got to hear um, voice cover. Uh, woo! I know what he's talking about. I know everything about that. Bandel today? Oh! 316 million views released in 1979. Difficulty medium. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten, ten, eight. I don't know what it is. Next. Oh, it's Psycho Killer by the Talking Heads. Okay. Thank you, Tina Weymouth, for your insane bass. Let's hear the voice cover on this one. It wasn't? It wasn't Psycho Killer? Oh, it's I, I can't get no man -na, na satisfaction. I'm a rolling thunder. I'm a pouring. It's the end of this one. It's highway to hell. It's highway to hell. Yeah. It's highway to hell. I got it. Voice cover. The hell. I'm on a highway to hell. I'm on the highway to hell. I'm on mute, but I had NL uh, pegged for guessing Psycho Killer for number three. Excuse me, I guessed it on number two. The bass was identical to Psycho Killer. The guitar part, though. You, come on, you're not going to get Psycho Killer wrong on the guitar part. It goes, ring, ding, 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 Psycho Killer ain't gonna have 300 million views. I kind of thought 300 million was like a little on the low side. Doesn't Gangnam Style have like a trillion? I mean, Gangnam Style obviously a better song than anything the Talking Heads have ever made. 1964, 20 million views.
No idea. Let's skip. <laughs> Bass me. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Now we're talking. Sing it to me now. Okay, I need way more. No. Oh, wait. It's the day that that the creepy and the kooky. They're all together, Zuki. The Adams family. Da 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 da. The Adams family theme song. Guess. That's correct. <laughs> I'm insane. I'm crazy. Voice cover. Oh, dude, that's straight out of the Super Nintendo. That is literally straight out of the Super Nintendo. Did you hear the brrrr? Do that one more time, please. Once is never enough. Hey, St. Chucks, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Wait for the brrrr. Oh! What the hell is that? Harpsichord? Is that a harpsichord? That's a harpsichord. Wes Anderson could never, man. Whew. That song is slinking around. You are correct. Can you sing the monster fuck? I'm not going to step on the dude's bit. It's a good bit. Try keeping the zoot in your suit when that banger comes on. Catch me taking big steps. It's the kind of song that lends itself well to big steps. Garum, 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 garum. You can't see what I'm doing, but it's a little bit like when um, when they when they crank that soldier boy. Sorry, it's my accountant. We're so early. It's so over. Frick it, we ball. Frick it, we bandle. Good, good, but I should stop. Like, the bandle stuff is all MIDI, but it's probably tempting fate to always have it in a Lies of PVOD. Get my YouTube channel DMCA'd for a video that's going to get like 3,000 views. Okay, here we go. 1984, 258 million views. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, eleven, twelve. Okay, I don't, I don't know yet what it is. Wait, is this, is this um, dead or alive? Right round, dead or alive? You spin me round like a record. Oh, it is. La 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 la. <laughs> oh, dude, I'd recognize that uh, marimba anywhere. Oh, come on, I mean, you're not missing it on this. Record, baby, round, 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 round. How about the bass on that one? Or at least you can fit Barracuda by heart on top of any other song. Bandle me? Oh, hang on. Right at the start of the video. 82 million views, 1984, literally. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing that I'm singing so loud. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing with the rest of the crowd. Don't bring me down. No, 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 no. Oh, woohoo. I don't think it's from 1984, but I'll try it. Elo, don't bring me down. Don't bring me down. Wrong. Okay, bass me. Ooh, uh, it's, it's Ghostbusters, dude. <clears throat> you keep me busting all kinds of ghosts. You got me busting the ghost that's the most. Don't bust those ghosts. Okay, that's Ghostbusters. Yes, that is correct. Halloween definitely has some of the worst 
music on earth. No disrespect to anything but Ghostbusters. I mean, you gotta hear this. I don't know why I'm doing this Stevie Wonder, but anyway. I'm, I'm telling you, my kid loves Ghostbusters. The song, they've never seen the movie. I gotta tell you, before you say Ghostbusters doesn't suck ass, I'm gonna ask you to leave and listen to the whole song. Do not turn that shit off after 45 seconds like you, you're gonna want to. And it first starts, you're gonna be like, oh, hell yeah. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. An invisible man sleeping in your bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you're gonna be like, this is amazing. And then the shit just keeps going for three minutes and 45 seconds of just the same. Anyway. Old bit, but you still haven't listened to Busting? Literally, you're 12 years old. We listened to that shit when it came out, when your ass was in the fourth grade. This guy's never heard of Busting. Get a load of this guy. Mods, check their Netflix account. I want to see what their most watched show is. 2008, 1.2 billion views. Da, no, no, no. You keep me stressing that I'm stressing my load. You keep me guessing that I've got a big show. Don't let me down. No, 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 no. Okay, I don't, I don't know this one yet. Let's go with bass. 2008, 1.2 billion views. Oh, it's Poker Face. Or oh, it. Ma, 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 ma. Doesn't know that love ain't gonna love me undercover Gonna suck you, I'm your lover, I'm your brother, I'm your mother Something like, it's Poker Face, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is, it, uh, you got it in two. I'm crazy, dude. Oh, I like that. You guys hear the Beethoven cover of Poker Face? She's got the love nobody. Your friend who claims to not like pizza? I don't listen to pop music. Hey, have you heard the, um, hey, who's the lady who plays the violin on YouTube? I need that for this joke to work. Who's the lady, Lindsay, is it Lindsay Sterling? That sounds right to me. Your friend who uh, claims to not like pizza? Oh, sorry, I don't listen to pop music. By the way, have you heard the Lindsey Sterling cover of Poker Face on YouTube? It goes crazy. I gotta be honest, this sounds like shit. <laughs> I get that it's just a MIDI cover, but that, the, that this has no reason to exist outside of Bandle. The original song is perfectly fine. Nobody spent eight hours on this. They just told Chad GPT to do it. Sorry, I got two sixteenths of the orange left. 2008, 863 million views. Okay, you ready for this? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna know. I, do, I'm, I, I think I can get it just from this. I swear I'm not looking at Chad. I just gotta think about it. Okay, I got. I, I'm sorry. I gotta. I gotta skip one and go next. Piano plus bells. That 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 syncopation is so familiar. It's like a, it's got a little bit of a. Monster mash type. Ooh, okay. How about strings one? I'm a little embarrassed of myself. I don't know it. I don't know it yet. I, 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 I'm gonna know it, but... Skip me. Start. Oh, it's fucking... I used to... Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Okay, yes, it's Viva La Vida. There we go. I thought you were a true millennial. What people don't realize is that they group millennials into different classes of 
millennial, right? Or into, the, into a monoculture, okay? But there's such a huge contingent of millennials that there's actually delineations between them. For example, there are boomer millennials. What is a boomer millennial? Uh, in university, they had a poster of Tony Montana going, da, 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 say hello to my little friend. And probably the, uh, the, the poster of the, the women sitting at the edge of the swimming pool and all their backs are painted like the Pink Floyd uh, album covers. And even into like 30s, middle age, they're the people that are buying t-shirts that say like keep calm and shame, you know, like Game of Thrones meets Winston Churchill era uh, propaganda posters. Then there's like millennial millennials, and I would put myself in this class, and these are um, people who talk exclusively in Step Brothers, Napoleon Dynamite, Anchorman, Dodgeball, old school hangover quotes. That's, I, I come by it honestly. And then there's like, uh, there's like Zoomer millennials. And Zoomer millennials, they're like the people that are like four years younger than me that relate more to Zoomers. They got the SpongeBob memes. Uh, they've got uh, the Fairly Odd Parents. They love to watch cartoons that are not for adults, but they're for general audiences and they watch them as adults. That's my take on that. I'm not a boomer millennial. There are, there are boomer millennials that are closer to Gen X than to the Gen Z millennials who are millennials who are closer to Gen Z. I mean, I think it makes sense. There's like, what, there's got to be like 3 billion millennials or something like that. There's a lot of them, man. I, I think, like, also culture changed so fast based on the introduction of the internet. Now, obviously, it varies regionally speaking as well. But I think there's like... Millennials who were like 15 when they got regular internet access. So they're almost like more like their parents. And then there's like millennials who got internet access regularly when they were in like early elementary school. And that's me. And I'm kind of straddling the line between my parents and the always online Gen Z generation. And then there's millennials who have never known a world without the internet. And I think that's the SpongeBob meme millennials. And we all come by it honestly. It's no... Uh, it's not meant to be an insult either way. You can't control the culture you're, you're born in. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm thinking like first try today, probably. <laughs> Maybe second try. <laughs> How about Bandle? 2023, nine million views. Now you can hear it. A song released this year. Nine million views. Okay, skip me. This is Synth One. Uh, it's Tetris. This is Tetris. It's a variation on the Tetris theme. Is this Aespa Hold On Tight Tetris? Yes, it is. <laughs> I, to believe, believe it or not, I don't believe that I have heard this particular K-pop song. I'm, okay, I'm very familiar with this melody. How does he know Aespa? Bro, why are people always so surprised when I'm cool? Shit is so annoying. You don't even start being cool until you're like 25. You're like, you don't realize it, but at like age 22, you're like lame as hell. Your ass is out there, you know, reading Mew for six hours a day, and then you're like hungry. People are like, go make yourself some food in the kitchen. And like, I don't want the food that's in the kitchen. I think I'm just going to starve instead. There's nothing admirable about that. You only start to get cool when you start like having great cultural influences, but then also a modicum of personal responsibility. I'm 22, I'm literally doing that right now. That's fine, you know, when, when in Rome. I'm just saying, stop taking shots at the, at the millennials, man. Who's your Aespa bias? I'll be honest with you, I do listen to a little bit of K-pop. Not a little bit the way that like uh, Gen Z would say a little bit, like four hours a day, but a little bit like a couple of songs a week. I get introduced to one new K-pop song every two months, I would say. 
I'm very familiar with Super Shy and the second New Jeans single that I can't remember the name of. I'm familiar with You Plus Me by Jenny. Of course, the stuff from the 2010s when I lived there. But I could not name, I can name like four individuals that are in K-pop bands. There's Jungkook from BTS, RM from BTS, Jenny, who is in either Blackpink or... <laughs> She's probably from Blackpink. Um, and then I think, I don't know, I might be, I might be tapped after that. That's about all I got. I know, yeah, Luna is from something, because everyone says Stan Luna. But I don't know, uh, I don't know what she's from. What about Psy? Well, of course I know Psy. I'm familiar with Psy. Of course I'm familiar with G-Dragon. From, uh, is he from Big Bang? The main thing I knew about G-Dragon for a long time was him getting, I wouldn't say he got canceled, he's still very famous, but him getting semi-canceled in South Korea because he got caught smoking weed in like a bathroom stall in Japan when they were on tour. That, that news broke when I lived in South Korea. It was a very divisive issue because in South Korea, at least at the time, just relax for a moment. Smoking weed was considered to essentially be akin to freebasing fentanyl. Vandal's impossible today? Wrong? Uh, it was easy as hell. I got it in two. You just need to know, I mean, it's not your fault, I guess, that you grew up in a culture that only listens to music that uh, is in the language in which you speak. But for lots of people worldwide, not myself, I also predominantly listen to music only in English. But for lots of people, they listen to music in all sorts of different languages. And as a result, today's wasn't that hard. Also, I know what Tetris is. Don't care, didn't ask, plus you're monolingual. One day, they're gonna invent that like universal fucking translator and all of you cultured individuals who wasted your time learning about other languages so you could interface with more people around the world and have a greater global consciousness will rue the day. <laughs> I would have thought it would have happened by now, <laughs> but if you asked me in 2010 when the Universal Translator comes out, I would have been like fucking 2011, dummy, we're cooking. But now here we are in 2023, that was not smart. Google's getting worse? Did you see the Google query? Someone said, is there a country in Africa that starts with a K? Spoilers, there is. And Google pulled the top result and said, unfortunately, there's no country in Africa that starts with a K. The closest is Kenya, which starts with a K. Sick. That's awesome. You know what it is? I bet it's... Middle school teachers who told us you couldn't use the internet as a reliable source, they're licking their chops right now. They're like, I told ya, I told ya. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing that I'm singing so loud. Do, 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 do. You keep me singing with the rest of the crowd. Don't bring me down. <laughs> No, 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 no. You keep me busting all kinds of ghosts. You got me busting the ghost that's the most. Don't bust those ghosts. Okay, that's Ghostbusters.